as the weather starts to cool off, it's time to start harvesting those remaining warm season vegetables. And I wanted to revisit one of the plants that we kind of mentioned earlier in the season that was a little bit of a novelty that we purchased um, and planted here in our gardens. And that is the ketchup and fries, um, which is a hybrid plant that has tomatoes grafted on to potatoes down below. So you can see that they grew quite well. Of course, they don't look as good where at the end of the season, things are starting to shut down, but all season long, we've been nibbling on some of these um, cherry kind of grape-sized tomatoes. They've been a nice little snack here in the garden. Um, and so on the tomato side of it, we've enjoyed it. Now, we don't know what's going on underneath, but wanted to kind of talk to you about some of the things that um, is sort of how you go about harvesting those potatoes at this point. And what's recommended is that we go ahead and cut off the tomato part and that sort of signals to the potato down below that it's time to start kind of uh, wrapping up that process and sort of harden off those potatoes in order to be harvested. And so you'll notice on tomatoes, um, I will mention I kind of maybe did something wrong. I'm acknowledging it, but typically when you're planting something grafted, you don't plant the graft down in the ground. And we found out later that this actually is recommended that you do plant the graft union down below the ground so that the tomato actually will root also so that you get a more vigorous tomato. Um, and you'll notice that our, our potato actually started growing as well. And they recommend that you go ahead and leave that as well. So you almost got both plants still growing even though they're on one stem. I will say it's kind of unique that the graft union, it, it worked on all three of our plants. Um, however, the diameter is still very different, which is unique to see. So you can obviously see where that graft union is. Now, because we didn't bury that graft, it kind of mentions that we might not get as many potatoes as we normally would. So we'll find out. What it's recommended to do at this point is to go ahead and cut um, our tomato graft off. And so we're gonna do that. And um, we'll go ahead and take our tomatoes um, plant in. I've gotta take some of this uh, trellising off of it, but we'll take those in, harvest what we can get, and maybe see if some of these green ones will ripen up for us. And then revisit our potatoes in about 10 days um, as they kind of shut down and we will see how many we have to harvest. So it's been 10 days since we cut the tomato part of our ketchup and fries plant off. And so now we've given our potatoes a little bit of time. And so it's time to start digging them and see what we've got. Now, typically we plant potatoes usually in March and then harvest those about in June. So they usually need about 100 days in order to develop. You can, however, plant potatoes in mid-August. The problem is when you're looking at uh, planting in the fall, we never know when our Oklahoma winters are gonna show up. So getting those 100 days to develop our fall potatoes is kind of iffy sometimes. Now these potatoes, we, we planted this plant in April, as soon as we could plant it um, in the spring, um, like any of your tomato plants. And so these potatoes have been growing for a long period of time. However, uh, you know, we are in kind of an elevated table, so kind of limited on root space. So we'll have to see what we've got in here. So as you can see, it did actually produce some potatoes. However, I think it produced a little more ketchup than it did fries on our grafted plant. So while it is a little bit more of a novelty, you know, I think it's fun to try, but probably not going to be the solution to increase your production per square footage. So again, a fun grafted plant of growing tomatoes and potatoes on the same plant if you want to give it a try. We hope you enjoyed this video as part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on the OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.